Hi, this is Trevor. And this is Paul. And you are listening to the May Contain Action Podcast, available on Apple, Spotify, and more. Welcome to the May Contain Action Podcast, where your two favorite content creators talk content, pop culture, gaming, and other important subjects. I am one of your hosts, Trevor May, aka I am Trevor May on Twitch. I know it's clever. And my friend Paul, aka Action Jackson, is here. Hi, Paul. Hi, Trevor. This is episode 10. Woo! Two away, baby. Two away from breaking the record. And so I am close. pleased. <laughs> I am pleased to announce we have another special guest on the show. One shot girls here. Woo! Let's get it, Julie. Oh my hey, gosh. Julie. You guys are so professional. You did that in one take. One take? Man, make it Well, the nice thing is it's a podcast, so like we can mess up all day, and (laughs) we're just like, ah, they're just quirky and funny. We'll just keep that in. That's what we do. I like it. That's how it works. People think we're quirky. (laughs) So, uh, Julie, we want to obviously get to know uh, you as our guest, right? So we have uh, a a series of hard-hitting journalistic-style questions. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna I'm ask sweating. you about all types of hard stuff. Mm, okay. Okay. Current events, <laughs> the war, and not. Um, <laughs> oh, <God>. Jesus. <laughs> I think my internet's about to cut out. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Just got a call for my ISP. I'm, I'm about to lose internet here. <laughs> she DM me. She's like, "What questions are you gonna ask?" I emailed her all the all the throwaway ones. <laughs> no. Oh, um. So kind of get started and getting to know you. Uh, obviously, you're one shot girl. Where did that genesis come from? Where did that name come from? You're Julie IRL. Where's one shot? Girl? Yeah, yeah, I get that question a lot. So basically, it was just like my gamer tag like years ago because I've always loved first person shooters and I've loved literally like just love sniping. So there's just something about getting that that super satisfying headshot, that one shot kill. So just just from way back when just like a silly gamer tag and i just kind of carried it forward into now my my youtube and twitch and every other social media handle so yeah oh, wow and do you do you tend to get that like one shot girl is that available usually like i feel yeah. like everywhere i go action jackson's taken so i don't know if you have the same yeah same i issues. have never had a problem outside of like outside of like a viewer or someone like like literally just like getting it before me but yeah, in the in the very beginning, like I never had any problems getting that as a as a tag anywhere. Yeah, and you were, always uh, had the underscores. Ooh. You know, I wish I didn't have the underscores, but <laughs> I have always had the underscores. I'm trying to get rid of them, so um, it's a work <laughs> in progress. <laughs> underscores were hot, you know, way back. They were uh, like ten years ago when like, when yeah, I made it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was uh, it like X one shot girl X? <laughs> like, did you put the X's? Little X, big no. X underscore. <laughs> I did not, but I know exactly what you're talking about. But yeah, I had the underscores, no X's. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, you went with uh, one shot girl because of sniping. And I got to be honest, I there's, I don't know if there's a more gratifying uh, thing to do in gaming than like oh, yeah. a headshot and just seeing the the scroll of oh, experience yeah. and points you get like i think yeah. of battlefield uh four i think three uh sniping from like a mile away it was just like a thousand points yeah there's just something about it thousand meters yeah yeah it's great you're the best there is and you played um xbox i'm assuming right or were you ps4 so i was actually yeah i was more more playstation than anything so really yeah 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 like like back in like the early 2000s you're, you're oh no sorry just playstation over xbox just whether it was ps3 ps4 Whoa. okay yeah sorry i worded that poorly but yeah playstation 3 no, is when sorry. i i really i guess uh that might have been yeah when one shot girl was created way back when is that the genesis it's amazing it might have been yeah maybe ps3 and you <laughs> did you start playing games like on your own did you have someone in your family that kind of like encouraged you or was it more you just yeah, felt so- like you Go ahead. Yeah, my family has, uh, like, my parents, I guess I, I could say, they've kind of cultivated the love of gaming just for, I, so I have an older sister, younger brother, so middle child here, but um, my family, my dad would sit and we would play N64 together, Mario Kart or NFL Blitz or the, the four of us. We had a great group of four, me and my siblings and my dad. So he nice. kind of cultivated that, the the love of video games. But then my family, we've always loved card games and board games. 
um or even like couch games oh. not like mafia or whatever but yeah oh. i've oh yeah i like i've always played games ever since i can remember so whether it was video games or card games so yeah my my family though definitely cultivated that within us as we were growing up i love that that's so cool what the hell dad all i did was <laughs> play baseball I have a great family. I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed. That's awesome. Trevor, that didn't work out for you at all. You're right. <laughs> yeah, no, right, Trevor. Oh, my God. Why'd you make me get out of the field all the time, Dad? <laughs> Darn oh, it. Darn it. Ruined my childhood. I'm Worst just kidding. father. Wouldn't have been a for God. the world. Mm -hmm. um, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. And I, you know, I, your community called the Snipers, right? Yeah, I call them my Snipers. That's so. actually kind of badass. That's a pretty, yeah. that's pretty cool. Finds yeah, the eyebrows. I, like... <laughs> Mine's nice the potatoes. Yeah, we're ours are. Yeah, <laughs> nah, we should have thought about them better. Our poor communities. Uh, mm. The potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that feels so forced, dude. I'm sorry. You're like Paul Tato. Dude, my name rhymes with nothing. <laughs> You're right. Paul Bears. That wouldn't make sense. You put oh, Paul Bears. Yeah. Yikes! I put them in the ground. You could have just. Hmm. You could have stole. <laughs> Early, you could have hmm. just stole Doctor Disrespect's whole thing. You could have done it first because you're like the same age. <laughs> we are the same age. No, he's like fifty, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Can't wait to have him on. He's really good. Uh, uh, will you yeah. have him on as a guest? We would oh. love to. Yeah, we'd love mm, to have him on. I have cool. no idea how we could ask him about his past. With like, I, I, I don't know how it would work. I, yeah. I really don't know if we would learn about Guy. Yes, he has a real name, guys. Guy. Yeah. Yeah, um, or 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 Doc, but maybe a little yeah. common. I mean, who, who are we kidding? It overlaps probably it quite does. a bit. Um, yeah, 100%. yeah. So, uh, our, our our next very important question, uh, and it's always my favorite, and it's very close and dear to my heart. Um, and we've gotten really well. There's been one constant, but then with really wide spread spreading well, with a few people. Right. Let me ask this really quick, uh, Julie. You're from Ohio, correct? I am Cincinnati, okay, Ohio. Ohio. That's important. We're realizing that's yeah. a very important yeah. where you're from. That's, that's important. Ohio. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So do you, do you have a uh, drive through fast food type place that's like, you're like, okay, we got to, we got to get this. Like every time you see it, because I'm, I have one, I feel like that's pretty constant. Do you have a place that's like your favorite and you have your go-to that you love more than other places? So for me personally, I like have an unhealthy obsession for wendy's whoa so just, i just wendy's. love wendy's i just love no wendy's but, but i would also say like so when you were asking that question my mind immediately jumped we have we have a place called skyline here so Cincinnati I know skyline is known, chili. yeah local local what? chili place yeah. Skyline. Um, currently yeah researching. skyline dude, <laughs> yeah yeah google it google it but you're uh, gonna be like what <laughs> dude, it's crazy they put you put chili on burritos and salads and uh, hot dogs and noodles like it, it's just like spaghetti you put chili, it on spaghetti yeah, noodles yeah chili on everything but it's i highly recommend it if you're coming to cincinnati in ohio or the tri-state area but since like skyline is a cincinnati place but my like love for wendy's like supersedes like all fast food <laughs> that's so wild wendy's. so wendy's what your favorite yeah. thing are you like a baconator like meal person <laughs> um, or are you like yo i'm getting spice nuggets so I'm a very frugal person. They have the okay. best deal ah, that ah. I've ever seen. The four okay. for four. So I don't know <laughs> if you, <laughs> but you can get a burger, fries, nuggets, and a drink for four dollars, and that is my go-to. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> I'm oh, so ridiculous. Who goes to fast food? Is like, how can I save the most? Money? Yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> I'm. That's I'm what ridiculous. value menus are, dude. I know I they've know. kind of gone to the wayside, but when we were like, like we were saying in two thousands, everything was a buck. <laughs> And everywhere True. had one yeah right mcdonald's Everything had one taco bell had one and we were all like you know we're like we don't have gas but money what i'm just... <laughs> what i'm more saying is like when you go to wendy's for instance julie or, or mcdonald's <laughs> for like yeah. the dollar menu mm -hmm. my thought is always how much food can i uh, get for the least mm. amount not how much money can i save ten bucks every time I I mean, it's, it's kind of the same question though right like i mean when you're looking at the dollar menu you're saving money and trying to get the most bang for your buck right so that's, to that's me true. that's like one in the same oh my gosh <clears throat> your finances must be so in order it's incredible oh i it's, it's ridiculous but yes i'm very frugal and that that is 
case in point with my my Wendy's obsession with the four for four. Paul, she might yeah. not be like us where we just like we eat until we can't move. <laughs> like, which is was my goal until I was like 20. I was like, oh, that's not how you're supposed to eat. <laughs> you're not supposed to eat till the food's physically coming back out of your mouth. Oh, mm. OK. How else am I supposed to fill my stomach? I don't mm -hmm. feel it up mm -hmm. my throat. Yeah, makes me feel, feel fulfilled. Feel <laughs> fulfilled. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure this love for Wendy's started when you were young, younger, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, when you were <laughs> counting your pennies, figuring out what you could get <laughs> for fast food, um, what did you do before you got into content creation, streaming? I know you started basically on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. but. Yeah. Uh, what did you do even before then? What was your Yeah, your so so basically long story short, but I I've always like loved people. So my jobs like before content creation have always been like somewhat customer service related. Yeah. Um but basically long story short is I would work some customer service jobs just just in the area and um I'm from Ohio, like born in the Midwest. I went to college in Indiana. So like super Midwestern girl here. And after I graduated, I got a music degree because I didn't know what the heck I wanted to do like with my life. But I just knew I loved yeah. music and I wanted to study a subject that I actually loved. Well, side note on that. Sorry to interrupt you, but I, I obviously Googled uh, One Shot Girl just to see what would come up. And you have a, like a wiki and it says you're a pop singer. I was like, what? I was like, I was like, what? It says musician. Pardon me. Okay, that, that's new to me too. Literally, but, uh... if you Google one shot girl, it says musician. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, like, <laughs> I, was I like, don't know what. I don't know, but it might I be have, a K-pop like... singer or something with your name. A musical artist. I... No, it's her face. Wow. I do have like a couple. <laughs> I I do have like it's not an album, but like a couple oh. years ago, I I have just like some basically it's some songs that i like wrote in garage band it's just like instrumental stuff that i like use on my stream mm -hmm. so i kind of just like threw it up and people can like buy it online as an album quote unquote but maybe that wow. somehow has funneled into that website and because i technically have an album i'm a like a musician in their eyes or that's my only guess but yeah it says the name of your album is snipers i was like yep yeah, that's okay. it that's the one is that really it, it yeah that's it, it. yeah internet doesn't lie <laughs> chat. that's Never funny forget. Yeah. Remember, Paul, the wiki for me says Dr. Lupo's actually my dad. So that's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. Well, you he can't trust everything fathers. online. We yeah, you can't this. trust everything. Oh, um, sorry to interrupt you. You're getting a music degree. Yeah, no, but basically, so like I, I went to college, I got a, a degree, but I was like, I don't know what the heck I want to do with my life. Mm -hmm. So eventually what I did is I, a um, couple years after I, I moved out to New York City. So without a job, like hardly knew anybody just for like the experience, um, just to like challenge myself. And I always knew, like I've been to New York growing up and I knew I liked the city. And I was like, you know what? Let's get this like suburban girl out of her comfort zone. Let's go to New York City for a little bit and see how it goes. So I did that for about a year and a half. I got a job actually on Wall Street that at first I really loved. They hired me wow. um, in a customer service position. And then the company was kind of small and I did a good job and they kept promoting me. But the more they promoted me, the more miserable I got because I was getting away from my my passions and my talents um so again making decent money mm -hmm. you know living in manhattan but ultimately felt unfulfilled and i was like you know what at the time so this was back in oh my gosh 2015 um so at that time like the big youtubers at least for gamers because i knew i wanted to do something with gaming and like video production and possibly music okay. like I, I wanted to combine those passions and i was like you know what i could maybe like do a youtube channel and i could do gaming and you know if i wanted to do some music stuff or at least use some of the songs that i write or i was like that could just be good to funnel mm -hmm. my passions into a youtube channel and at the time like markiplier jacksepticeye even pewdiepie they were doing gaming and they were doing like these like 30 part walkthroughs of like these yeah. single player games and all. but so but i was like that was like something i wanted to do and i could see myself doing it and doing my other passions as well yeah, alongside of gaming so i basically like called my dad up i was in manhattan i was like i want to start a youtube channel and my dad was like literally he was like what is a youtube channel like what are you talking about <laughs> well, but I, i'm super dad, close to my family yeah no seriously he'll he'll the way he tells the story is just so great as well but he la he laughs at himself um nowadays but basically like i'm close to my family so he was the first person i called he said my dad's like my idol but i, I talked it through with him and he's like OK, like we support you. We don't know what you're talking about, but we support you. And I asked and I was like, could I come live in your guys's basement while I started up to like save money? Because I'm super frugal, as we've learned. So 
Yeah. Long story short, yeah. I was in New York City for a year and a half, and I ultimately moved my parents' basement back in 2015, and Solid. I started up a channel. And here we are, you know, almost five years later. So it it it's worked out a little bit. That's so when you decided that you wanted to do a YouTube channel and you decided you wanted to be kind of focused around gaming, but maybe add some music, maybe something like that here and there. Why did you decide you wanted to do a gaming specific YouTube channel? Why not one on, I don't know, saving money? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a good question. Um, why did you, that's a really good question. Why did you choose, why did you choose uh, gaming? <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's a great question. Um, I, I, I think it's just because back then, again, in, in 2015, those were the popular channels that I saw and I saw, I could really see myself like doing that content and being successful, at least yeah. from a, a monetary standpoint so that I could support myself so that maybe eventually I could do something that, you know, might not be as lucrative if it's music or if it's talking about money, like, you know, whatever it was, my other passion. So I, I think back then it was more so like, I see these people, they're successful. They can support themselves doing yeah. this. I can see this like practically. So let's let's try this first and then see how that goes. Is, if that makes sense, does that make sense? Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. I mean, you you okay. you did what you saw, and that makes perfect sense. Basically, yeah. You saw yeah. a lot of those. Yeah. No, completely. It's it's. I mean, it's hard for anyone to branch out. It's like I remember someone. Uh, I told someone that. Oh yeah, there's like makeup tutorials and stuff on Twitch, and they're like, "Wait, what? You can do that?" Mm. I was like, "Sure. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want." So yeah, yeah, you do what you see. That makes perfect sense. Wow. So, yeah. And I I just. Wall Street, New York City, <laughs> yeah. from Nebraska. I remember you telling me this uh, at at the G Fuel event uh, a while back, and I was like, what? "Of all things, like that seems like such a cool job, cool place to be." But if you're not happy, you're not happy. So that that's yeah. You know, yeah. Wall Street getting promoted and hating it. The more you get promoted, yeah, wow. yeah, and that's what's hard. It's like it's so hard to talk about it, but it's like you money ultimately doesn't make you happy like it can yeah. make you comfortable it can offer you certain luxuries and things but at the end of the day like for me i was not i didn't feel fulfilled like i i had money and i could do x y and z like it, but it's like at the end of the day like yeah. i just i didn't feel fulfilled and i was like i don't want to live like this like i don't just want money to do like i was like i want to be using my passions and i believe when we use our passions we are like also not only obviously like making our, our lives better in the sense that we feel fulfilled, but we're also blessing other people. Like when we do yeah. that and I just, I feel like I was missing out. Like, and I, I feel so much better now that when I'm using my passions that I, I know that maybe I'm just making someone's day, I'm making them smile, like whatever it is. And I wasn't getting that feeling when I was quote unquote, you know, making, making, making that, that money in New York. So yeah. Yeah. I gotta... it's, it's different for each person. I gotta be honest. That is a that is a very impressive level of self awareness um, <laughs> for that you know age as well. Like you know, Thank you. most people are like, well, first of all, you said I just moved to New York City and I <laughs> just to have an adventure, and that's like so not me. That, mm -hmm. that oh, I'm yeah. just like, oh, that's crazy. And then you're like, mm. and then I was successful, and I just you know, I I just didn't like that. So you know, I tried something else, and I'm just like, yeah. That the courage it takes to do that stuff is really impressive. So props to you. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Thanks, Trevor. That's that's incredible. Um, yeah. And and now I'm like thinking about like does baseball does, what does what what does baseball I, make what, you happy, Trevor? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you got it. Well, I guess you got to constantly ask that question. It's kind of part of life. But yeah, we just got real, yeah. real, real there for a minute. But that's awesome. That's yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think well, it's good to reassess your position. Absolutely. Yeah. And you guys give me a lot of credit, but I like I have such a great like it's just a supporting family. So, you know, I have people Sounds there like who it. could encourage me along the way. Like if, you know, if, if maybe I didn't have people that believed in me or encouraged me, like it would probably be way scary to do those things. But like my dad, like he's the one that drove like 13 hours from Ohio to New York City to move me in to my little uh, studio bedroom that I was renting for my first two months because I wasn't there to rent something site, you know, actually to be there in person to rent something. So it's like. You know, mm -hmm. I, I had a great support system that could, you know, that helped me take like risks, I guess, if you'll call it that, but to take a leap of faith and to try new things. So I, I give them all the credit. So cool. So cool. I don't have kids yet, but I can't imagine driving 13 hours to New York City to no, see if they maybe want neither. an apartment. So that's how yeah, it's like, uh, me neither. Future kid, if you're listening to this, <laughs> have fun driving yeah. yourself. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel the same. <laughs> I support you, buddy. Drive yourself. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, or teleporting. Yeah. Uh, that's going to exist by then, hopefully. Um, oh, 100%. Flying cars. I'm a believer. Flying cars be great. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, content creation. Uh, we like to... We, we'd like this show to be... And, and I think we're 10 episodes in now. Props to that. Good job, yeah. Paul. Yeah, we're, that's um, awesome, guys. Um, big you. celebration. We're going we're gonna to celebrate hard. We are? Um, no, no, we're not. It's 10 <laughs> episodes. We're live. Okay. Uh, All right. We'll do it, but... Wow. 10's not that big of a deal. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, we like to focus on a lot of the different uh, elements of what, what kind of goes fully into content creation, get other, everyone's kind of opinions and kind of how they approach things. And uh, one big part of that is social media. Um, mm-hmm. it's, it's so weird because I'm, I'm reading a book called um, Digital Minimalism. And it's basically just use social media with intent mm. and then just get rid of all the stuff that's not intentful. And that just the mm. whole I, someone wrote a 300 page book literally just says that over and over again so that makes sense and i've been wow. thinking um what is the like w- what are the best ways that people use their social media intentfully like how like because when you create something and you you the way that like you just said you want to make people smile you want to reach as many people as you can so it's going to factor in so the question kind of goes like this and we ask what everyone their favorite social media platform what which one gives you the most joy which one do you enjoy the most which one do you think is the most effective um and then which one do you think that you or are, are currently trying to improve on using uh it can it, and it can be just even for your your personal use or it could be um for how you it engages with the channel kind of bringing people in how do you let people know when you have new stuff and, and stuff yeah so i, I guess this, yeah like, okay I, that was clear favorite. enough good <laughs> I, I think so. So I think my favorite would would be Twitch of of all the the platforms that I've used. Yeah. So, huh. I yeah I I That's don't know. That's our first Twitch. Really? I was gonna say I feel like that was just gonna be yeah. like the the standard reply. <laughs> no, people can't stand Twitch. No, people. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, all honestly, the Twitch streamers hate. All those Twitch streamers love hate it. Twitch. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no I, it's, okay. It's, well, good then. I'm I'll, I'll, ex- <laughs> I'll explain that. But finish your finish your thought. Finish your yeah, thought. I would love to hear that. That's fascinating to me. Um. But yeah, I, I seriously like I just I love streaming. I love streaming so much. I love that that interaction with my viewers in, in real time. So I just mm-hmm. I don't nothing really beats that for me. So that's why that's why that's my favorite. <laughs> that's fair. Um, the reason I, I essentially say that is because I think that Twitch is a it's kind of a fine line of a type of social media. I think it does technically qualify as one i don't know the definition of a social media um but because discoverability is so difficult Mm -hmm. on twitch and that's why people don't enjoy it as much um for instance trevor is very into tiktok and loves the discoverability factor because essentially when you go into tiktok i'm not sure if you have this or not julie but when you when you go to the app um the first thing you see is recommended for you it's not even the people you follow yeah. So that it raises discoverability. So that's why I say that. Like Twitch is surprising to hear because it's so hard to get noticed on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. I think that uh like in my head, I don't really consider it quote unquote. I I consider the social media as an offline, not live but it, it is technically social media and and it is for the engaging is the part that is so great about it. Um, yeah. and that's actually why I started because a lot of people ask me, like, why'd you get into streaming? You had a full time mm-hmm. job that you it was your passion since you were four so like why and mm. i like i'm just like you i love engaging with people i love i realize that like when i get to give an interview about baseball and stuff i get mm-hmm. so excited i love mm. it i love getting That's asked so questions sweet. and answering them I, I i don't know why that is but like whenever i'm not necessarily the most like meeting strangers on the street and stuff like i'm not good at that at all mm-hmm. but like if i know that they're asking me a question then I open right, like I, I just open right up and I'll mm-hmm, just go forever. For sure. I could get as in depth as they want me to be. A lot of people are surprised by that. So, Twitch, another thing, Kate, my wife, was like, uh, I'm surprised you're so into this. Like, you love mm-hmm. meeting a bunch <laughs> of new people. I'm like, well, maybe it's because they know a little bit about me at the beginning and I know a little bit about them at the beginning, like what they're into. They like video games. Oh, yeah. So we immediately Absolutely. have something to talk about, right? The same way that when interviews happen, it's about baseball, probably. So I know the topic and they know the topic. And then that kind of breaks the ice by itself. I guess. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, Twitch, uh, like, and we talk about like Twitter and Twitter again, it's engagement and Instagram's more of a content oh, creator. Yeah. Like it's like between Twitter and YouTube, like it's, they're all do slightly different things. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
But uh, yeah, that was, that was our first Twitch. No one, no one hit us with a Twitch yet, which is yeah, actually Twitch surprising now that I look back at it. Also does. So actually, Julie, congratulations. Very deep, deep, thoughtful response to that because Twitch definitely um, counts as a social media. Just reading the definition of it, and it absolutely counts as social media. And okay. all we've interviewed are Twitch streamers, and no one has said <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> That's like, Twitter. I love Twitter. Twitter's the best. Uh, yeah, everybody. I do well, love Twitter. That would be my number two. Julie if does I, love Twitter. Yeah. If so, Twitch was not in the picture. Yeah. Which Which one do you think you from from even from a main uh, like in a companion to your stream and kind of your your YouTube and your public persona? Which one do you think you need to be on more? Definitely Twitter. Definitely really? Twitter. Really. Yeah. Yes, definitely Twitter. I found that for me, surprising. like I found for me in the gaming industry, mm-hmm. a lot of the connections that I want to make, like 90% of them like are on Twitter, if, yeah. if not 99% of them. But they're, it's just for whatever reason, the gaming industry and Twitter, or Twitter gaming, like they're just, it's so interconnected. It really is. And no, you're verified, correct? I, yes, I just got verified a few I weeks ago. There. Congratulations. Oh, got it. It was I was wild. that person who screamed and then I felt like an idiot because I was she I was freaked out. So, I'm it was so silly, but Woo! I was really happy. Verified. That's, that's a big tool. And that's a it's big tool. Huge. Too. It's yeah. huge. It really is. It's, I've been using it for a long time. I was, I was fortunate to be part of this like wave of minor league baseball players when I was in the minors like seven or eight years ago and got one. And I was like with like a thousand oh, wow. followers. So That's I was like, awesome, Trevor. This is yeah. so cool. And that was back when Twitter wasn't as big. Yeah, and, absolutely. And then I've been just just milking it ever since. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You uh, also recently, not I guess relatively recently, did like a poll on your Twitter itself. Really, you were like, what's your favorite social media? And it was like overwhelmingly Twitter. Yeah. But then you also had like a follow up tweet. Like, actually, I'm realizing that I just asked this on Twitter. So obviously, yeah, everyone's well- going to say Twitter. I know. I knew that going in. Like, I literally, I, I tweeted that poll out, and literally, mm. this, like a second after, I was like, I know I'm putting this on Twitter, so I expect the results to be Twitter. <laughs> but I was yeah. just like, I was just curious because, like, I don't know, like Facebook. I know has been at least, I think, fading. Like, yeah. at least for you know people in their 20s and and 30s. Yes. Um, yeah. It seems, and TikTok now is ex- like starting to explode or has exploded. So I, I put TikTok in that because I was just like, I'm just curious, but. Yeah, Twitter definitely won by a, a landslide, but yeah. I wish that there was a way to get like a an un, more of an unbiased like poll, but I think I'm always uh, fascinated by that. For what it's worth, I think you would uh crush TikTok, Julie. I think you would be the perfect I'm on TikTok. For TikTok. You are on TikTok. Yes, but I've been um, on there for months now. Okay. I, I, Do you like it? I <laughs> TikTok is not for me. I will say it. <laughs> oh, I right. literally just post my. So basically, what I've been doing for like the past year, which has really helped my social media. But after yeah. every stream, I will put together either one clip or like a, a small highlight of a couple clips of funny moments that happened that night, or sure. maybe really good gameplay or something that mm-hmm. just shows. Okay, what well, like what's my channel about, or what what happened in this one night that gives people an idea of who I am. And I post mm-hmm. it on Twitter and Instagram and possibly TikTok. But it's not like the the stereotypical TikTok ones that you see, like just all that stuff that's typical TikTok. That's not my mm-hmm. like I literally just post a gaming clip on my TikTok. Yeah. Like, it's been doing pretty well. Like there's a significant gaming audience on there. So I'm I'm at like thirty thousand followers or something, but that's awesome. It's it's not like really your, your <laughs> typical TikTok posts. It's just the gaming stuff. But I am on there. <laughs> Well, yeah, and it's 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 just it's video. It's a it's a video platform, and there's a yeah. lot of people starting to do that a little bit more. And you yeah. just kind of you know, there's there's the kids that were kind of looking for the clips and stuff on Instagram have started to put some more of their attention on TikTok, and they're getting some of the same stuff, which yeah. they yeah. like. They liked it before. Yeah. They didn't leave because they ran out of stuff they liked. They just found something else they liked more. Exactly. So, um, exactly. So that that makes complete sense. And then on top of that. If you just uh, if you see one trend or something you're like I could do, that's funny I like that one and that that could be me you could just do it and then it won't yeah. be like it would be weird if you did it on Instagram but it won't be weird if you do it on TikTok so yeah the way exactly. I think about it. yeah that's a good point no that's good to know you see your aunt I so Tim has said a similar thing of TikTok but he was like I'm gonna post gaming videos and I was like I don't know if that's gonna work for that type of social media it seems like TikTok is very like I don't I don't know how else to describe it other than how you described it as like classic TikTok video <laughs> yeah yeah. Like it well, just it's like game fine stuff with is music. It gonna, is it going to have the virality <laughs> yeah. that the other ones do? Yeah, yeah. it is. Is Fortnite 
going to have virality. No. no. But it, you will build I mean, it. I think you build a following slowly over time, though. Yeah, that's think, the thing. Like, I, I have some videos of Fortnite. Like, my content on TikTok is like 90% Fortnite, but some of mine have hit mm-hmm. over a million. So, again. On, on Fortnite videos? Were they funny? Yeah, on TikTok? No, not really. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Some of them, maybe. <laughs> I, but yeah they're either my okay my content is either it's like silly and stupid or it's like hopefully like a cool kill or something so i, yeah. I have to like click it but literally like i'm scrolling back through and like two hundred forty thousand views four hundred thousand views seventy eight thousand views 40 Dang. like forty thousand sixty thousand so it's like with tiktok they, the views also build over time which i find mm-hmm. very fascinating yeah um like so I, I don't know i don't quite understand how the algorithm works but it's you can find success like i would encourage everyone out there even if you're a gamer like you know if you're a content creator but get on tiktok you yeah just post it and see go. what happens it's interesting too because i feel like the only other platform i can think of that would give you views after the fact like legacy views would be youtube I don't yeah. know of like Repl- replayability is actually huge on TikTok's algorithm. That's kind of what it's built on. So, yeah. um, so like someone, someone big could, someone big could find it later mm-hmm. and then yeah. like give it, give it that little bit of a boost by interacting with it. And then it, it could catch wildfire, even though it didn't catch before. Uh, so okay. interesting. And it could do that the same way that YouTube kind of does this. Like old videos sometimes just pop into the trending because they were really funny. It was just one like a mm. bigger content creator wasn't known and then yeah. someone found it and then <laughs> it just went viral again um yeah. that happens yeah sure um well speaking of the games that you post on tiktok obviously mostly fortnite um julie what is your current favorite game to play um above anything and then also what's your favorite <laughs> game to play for content oh that is a that is a great question. So I we get the hard hitters here. Uh, Make it an yeah. action pod. Woo! Mm-hmm. See, that's, that's funny. So ne- last week, like I would have had a different answer for this, but I am Ooh. just now getting into Tarkov. Yes. Tarkov. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I saw I'm that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I tuned in the other day. So I plan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yay. Uh, well, thank you. Yeah. Um, a little bit. Yeah. I'm like brand new. So I'm like still really bad, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's like We're right up my ball. alley. No, no, I'm a god. Oh my god. <laughs> have, wait, oh my god. Trevor, have you played? Because I know Paul. I know Paul's been. Yeah, dabbling. we played together. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. The people we have shot have been each other only, basically. Yeah, Trevor shotgunned me in the back. Uh, <laughs> That's right, a right, right of passage. Right in the side of the head. Right in the side of the head. <laughs> oh. But in, 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 we, well, where were we? We were in factory, and, and, oh, factory, and Kurt yeah. killed the scav, and they were just descending on us like zombies. So I didn't know who was like, there was, we had no chance. Oh, right no. um but courage and i actually are my last fight i was in before i haven't played in, in two days but mm-hmm. we were in a scav run in interchange and i i hit a guy for uh 600 <laughs> damage and he didn't die no 600 way. i was I like i don't what? understand oh. yeah how that works yet I, I, don't get that. I hit him 13 bullets and he didn't die holy crap so that <laughs> that'll kill your will to play but i love yeah. that you you uh, have like kind of liked playing Tarkov. That's that's cool. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I so I actually like before Fortnite, I had a significant following for uh, PUBG uh, Battlegrounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So tar- I mean, you know, t- I would say Tarkov is way more similar to Battlegrounds than it is Fortnite. So mm. it, you know, a game like Tarkov is basically like right up my alley. So I'm pretty sure I have a lot of viewers who knew me. You know, a couple of years ago they found me and they loved the PUBG streams. Who are now you know tuning in again maybe they didn't like fortnite but they're back or they just they they like tarkov because it's you know they're from the PUBG background as well so uh, that's yeah. that's the cool thing is you know you get people who find you for for all sorts of reasons and uh you hope you can tap into certain segments of your audiences with or your audience with certain games that you play but i've been really really liking tarkov i'm, I'm addicted right now i'll be playing awesome. after this podcast so I'm, so, I'm fighting the urge to not also play after the podcast. Be perfectly honest. Come play um, with me. <laughs> go play. Yes, I will content. probably shoot you in the back unintentionally. So okay. we'll just hop into some offlines. I got to do some offlines and stream or off yeah. stream just to, just so I can put up a yes. map and just only worry yeah. about AIs that are yelling before they shoot at me. And yeah, so I can Trevor, look for loot because I'm just in a bush the whole time. Yeah. Trevor, that will help you so much. I literally do two offline runs before I jump into a new map. Oh. 
and it I helps knew it. I knew so it. much. I do it on stream too. And surprisingly, okay. I I get a bunch of people who still watch because I was nervous. I was like, oh, no one's gonna watch like an offline run because there's no stakes and it's yeah. gonna be bored. But dude, like when you do an offline run, the scab, the scavengers, they're constantly on you for whatever reason. So the action is actually it's super intense and it's a lot of fun. So I highly recommend it, okay. even on stream. And I'm, what I'm noticing too, more viewers like it when there's lots of learning happening because there's so many people that are flocking to the game right now and trying to, they're yeah. watching to learn too. Yes. So if you're like, oh, what if I go over here and try this? And what if I'm doing this? Oh, I need to get these. Oh, what if I did this and 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 like organize my place this way? And and then everyone like, they, they're like, yeah, I get a backseat game. Usually I don't get to, but today yes. I do because no one knows anything. So yeah, um, true. The other day we were just talking about the game and i had my highest viewership of the day i was just like okay what if i did yeah. this and then tried to only doing this place like three or four straight times to get this loot and they're like yes that's how you play the game that's how you're supposed to do it so we had yeah. a breakthrough and everyone was excited so yeah, <laughs> that, that's that. actually that's a good point trevor when you were talking about you were joking about the backseat gaming but i i think you you're actually speaking to something there because i think like i mean it's human nature but a lot of us we want to feel helpful right like yeah. you know, there's a great feeling when you offer advice and someone takes it and you can see that like you helped them. So I think a lot of people with, you know, there's a lot of Tarkov experts who have been playing for years who tune in to like even my streams, like my viewers even who have been playing. And I'm like, hey guys, like help me please. Like not, not that backseat, like backseat gaming usually implies that someone's like rude about it, but I'm always like, just if you yeah. have helpful tips, like let me know. And people, they want to be there to like help. So I, I think you make a good point where it's like, you do get a lot of people who, will come watch even if you're really bad or brand new because they just want to help you and they like that exactly. feeling of knowing they're helping one of their favorite streamers yeah exactly. and it's it's a, it's yeah. a, actually a very backseatable game just because yeah like you, know, you you're like oh does that game gun oh how do i put this on and everyone's like you have to have a rail to put on the thing and you're like oh i didn't even know that mechanic existed as opposed yes. to like backseat gaming when i play tft i'm like running TFT t team fight tactics. I'm running a mm -hmm. whole like I'm I'm on I'm on a, a round eight and I have eight characters out. In my, everyone's like, hey, have you tried this completely different? You should try this completely different composition than you have right now, which is impossible for you to get right now. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. now that is the annoying <laughs> kind. Yeah, that's not helpful. Yes. Right you yeah. can clearly see that I can't do that right now. Yet you yeah. decided to tell me to do it anyways. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's 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 just it's it's nice. I enjoyed we having a back and forth with everybody because. And pretty much it was 80% people that were new about as much as I did. And then 20% yeah. were like, oh, hey, if anyone else needs help, I'll be your Sherpa. And like people mm -hmm. were making friends and like going to probably go play off stream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. It's awesome. That's what we do this for. Yeah, yeah people exactly. greatly enjoy being helpful, which is true. Yeah. Um, well, the second after that question, really quick, Julie, what is your favorite game to make content with? Is that, I'm assuming, is that the same one? Is it it's lined up still or? I think we know. I well, honest, honestly, like, no, honestly, right now, like, I'm I'm having so much fun with Tarkov, like, the learning and it's both. even the mess ups. Yeah, I mean, it's, oh. it's, it's, I would say it's Tarkov right now, so. Love it. Yeah, Great. yeah. Love it. That's fantastic. Yeah. I think, um, Trevor, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I think everyone has said Fortnite to create content. Pretty much everybody. Um, uh, Tim, Tim kind of did. Yeah, Tim kind of did. I guess. Um. <laughs> Was no, he, actually, like, Jordan said Overwatch. Oh, Remember Jordan yeah. said Overwatch. Oh, yeah, he did say Overwatch. That's right. So that real? Yeah. That's very true. Honestly, it's, uh, I, what's really nice is it's lining up with what people are like, oh, my favorite game to make content in is the one I'm enjoying the most because yes. I'm enjoying it. That makes it good content, which Love is how it's supposed to be. It so, is. That's how I feel. Um, and having a variety of things that you enjoy doing um, and you, you feel like you can like then translate to the other elements of your brand whether it be youtube or whether it be social media uh is great absolutely yeah. yeah i think it's clippable enough any game that like has no no names above your head and you can just tk all the time it's dude. you're gonna you're gonna get some moments right <laughs> dude, oh people love yeah. that because it's so relatable like i i posted my first team kill in my uh, the other day on twitter <laughs> and it like blew up with like forty four thousand views on a twitter video like mm -hmm. it, it's, it's relatable like because we've all done that in tarkov like so people they they like to know that other people are out there like that me messing up you know it's it's uh, yeah that's so it's so it's relatable yeah like all those videos on like the classic tiktok video is like <laughs> my dad when i touch the thermostat and like all <laughs> yeah. things that we've experienced and like overreaction exactly. and then when you kill someone in tarkov 
like, oh my God, I've also done that. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah. And it gets way more views than something that almost, I mean, I, I'm actually curious to see like the numbers, if there's some way to track this, like super sick across the map snipe versus relatable, funny thing that happened. Yeah. Like, how, how do those, maybe they're equal. I don't know, but relatability yeah. is very strong. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we do have to do an ad here in the middle. So ad time. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Everyone's super excited. Clap, 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 clap. everybody. Yep, yep, yep. Important. Important. The May Contain Action Podcast is presented by PrintLoyal.com. They partnered with talent, talented artists creating incredible gaming fan art and make it available for you to rep your favorite games. New art is added weekly and drop one featuring art inspired by Fortnite, Apex Legends, and Destiny is now available at PrintLoyal.com. Love games? Show it with PrintLoyal. All yeah. right. Thank you. Good job. Nicely done. Thank I've been flashing. I've been practicing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, PM he did it better last time, so you just dub that. That'd be great. Yeah, whatever. You can you literally just copy and paste it. That actually yeah. makes a lot of sense. We probably should do. That. I don't know why you don't <laughs> do it every time. <laughs> it's all yeah, right. Do what you want, PM. Do what you want. It's totally fine. Um. <laughs> so as we kind of. <laughs> it's gonna keep keep it moving. Your current event. We'd like to talk about something that you're doing, something that you're into right now, Julie. Uh, and actually, ironically enough, we were kind of talking about, you know, we would like to do like a meeting before we get started with the podcast. Two minutes before we go live, a tweet from Pack South goes out mm. uh, about you are going to be playing in a Fortnite creative mode called Life Run yes. at Pack South with uh, Dr. Lupo and Lakeland? Lachlan. Lachlan? Yeah, Lachlan. Yeah, Lachlan. 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 Um, on Sunday, January 19th. So you're traveling to the show, going to Pack South. Yeah, doing this. Can you tell us? Well, one, I'm curious to know about this because it just came out. But also in general, you've been going to pro ams and the World Cup, uh, obviously related to Fortnite mostly. Uh, how has it been to travel for events like this one at Pack South and travel for World Cup? What's that experience been like? It's been really amazing. I unfortunately though, like I just I don't like airports. Like I I don't like the lines and the hassle and the delayed <laughs> flights and the miss. So like I'm too much of like a control freak that yeah. it's just I hate. Like I'd rather drive four or five hours myself than like hop on a plane and deal. But so the, crazy. it's been amazing though. Like uh, just it's just everything that I've been invited out to. I, I never would have dreamed that this would have been my life five years ago or four years ago when I first started. So. Uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. And the people you get to meet, like, it's just everyone, you know, we're all gamers at the end of the day. So like you said, it, it breaks the ice automatically. Like when you go up and there's like Ninja or Tifu or whoever, it's yeah. just like at the end of the day, like, we're all people and we all love games. So just the connections that you can make in person with fellow streamers or game devs or people, you know, just whoever. It's yeah. really a blessing to be invited to events and get that experience. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I, I do kind of feel bad for Trevor at times, uh, as, <laughs> as you can feel for a professional baseball player. Uh, he does not get to go to a lot of these because they're usually like mm. in season. Um, yeah, and they are, the like you said. Would, the fun times of year. Exactly. Yes. The fun times. Yes. And you do get to meet so many cool people. And it's like kind of reference before, relatability. Like you find these other people that are quote unquote big deals. But they're very relatable. You have a very similar story or very similar outlook. Yeah. Um, like, I, obviously, I met you for the first time at the G Fuel or at the World Cup, actually. Yes, um, yeah. And then we got to know each other more at the G Fuel event. And you just kind of like build a relationship. And it's fun. It's mm -hmm. just fun to meet people. <laughs> like, yeah. I completely agree. Uh, you yeah, isn't, isn't that but, how you uh, became the poster boy for Astro, right? That's, <laughs> that's how you became... <laughs> The poster boy for Astro Not the, for their the whole poster. social media campaign boy built around Astro. Oh. Look, I can't help that I have an Odin style Greek beard. All right, there's nothing I can do about that. Whoa, Trevor, okay, I can't help that. You just said Odin style Greek beard. Yes, Odin I combined is, is two different God. mythologies what is wrong with you? together to make my beard. You meant Zeus. No, I meant oh. Odin. Okay, the Norse, not Greek. <laughs> I did both. Anyway, look. Oh, well, you can't say, you say gyro salad too. So who, who okay. are we kidding? You oh, have no my. idea how to pronounce it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, either way, is it gyro or, or euro, Julie? It's euro. Uh, Julie? I have no idea. So it's euro. I'm going it's to great. refrain Dude, from answering. I, I am a third no party, idea. completely neutral. I have no oh, idea. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Whatever she's asking for, she's asking for a little bit less toppings to save some money anyway. So it's fine. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I have less lettuce. Will that save me? Can I get, right. can, can I get a lettuce off. discount? <laughs> you can put that in another salad later. See, you're you're getting you're <laughs> fine. It. Charge it. If Less. I get no cheese, is that a discount or mm-hmm. no? We just we just oh, take no, the cheese no. off. We oh. keep the cheese. We always keep the cheese. <laughs> we always keep the cheese. We sacrifice some things. Cheese is not one of them. <laughs> not like, cheese. Uh, not ranch. Not ranch. Ooh, I'm same way. Oh, I could be on the diet of all diets. I'm like ranch dressing is happening. Yes. I don't well, care. Yes. <laughs> well, to uh, to kind of go back to the first thing I talked about <laughs> the current event. Um, can you give us uh, a little background on like the Pack South? How did that come about? Uh, why are you working with these two creators specifically? Any particular reason? Yeah, yeah. So the Red Cross actually, I, I kind of have a connection, but they're basically doing a collab with Epic, or I guess Fortnite, if you want to call it that. But they're making yeah. this creative mode map where rather than like eliminating people, you are running around, you're like saving people. So oh. I. Yeah, they just sent me the code for the map. It's like, I think it's still unreleased, but they said I can like preview it on one of my streams coming up soon. So nice. I haven't played it yet, but hopefully that'll be tonight or tomorrow. Awesome. But yeah. So the Red Cross is teaming up with Epic and they just reached out to me. They were like, hey, we're going to just invite a couple streamers to come like demo this at. Originally, it was going to be they reached out to me like months and months ago and it just kept getting pushed back. But now it's packed south. So. They're okay. like, yeah, it'll be you and hopefully Dr. Lupo and Lachlan, and we're going to fly you guys out. And, well, I think Lachlan probably will do it just over um, just over the internet. I don't think he'll be able to fly out. But either way, they're like, we want you guys to be a part of it, and you guys will, like, compete against each other, and it'll be a good time. So, yeah. Love that. Cool. That's sweet. That and sweet. I, I completely relate to the getting pushed back. I feel like everything in this industry gets yes. pushed back constantly like yeah, yeah we're gonna do it tomorrow kidding we're gonna do it four months from now like, what yeah that's pretty normal how did that happen it's in charge the way it works it's got to be uh it's got to be open i guess oh yeah, yeah. which i never flexible. am so <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm never gonna get to do that but you know maybe <laughs> nope. maybe in five One years day, i'll trevor. still be relevant and they'll let me <laughs> Tre- trevor when is like when do you have the most free time what month or what you uh know, the winter season? the winter so okay. actually in a literally a month from today i fly to florida and spring training starts so oh my gosh yeah okay. well this is my favorite time the countdown the last month countdown so fun every year i love it <laughs> <laughs> oh. but at least it'll be warm it's gonna snow yeah. here in a couple of days so yeah, it'll be warm but you know it is what it is you know you gotta there's only so many hours in a day and yeah. How many days in a month and so on and so forth. So yeah. yeah. Official call out to the MLB. Shorten your season. No one wants to watch 160 games Oof. of baseball. All right. Yeah, I'll we say definitely it. want to play 162 games. Oh, Jim, not my Jiminy Christmas. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. It, I've I've been told there's 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 discussions, maybe, but you know, yeah. it's it's yeah. there's a whole it's a whole business, man. Like you're not just gonna start cutting out content times, are you? Like you're not just gonna be like, hey yeah. guys, you know, so I know that 40 hours a week of streaming has been going well, but I'm just gonna cut it to like 25 because. <laughs> <laughs> but subs have to. doubled now, so <laughs> yeah. So I know we're doing great, but mm, <laughs> go do something else. Um, so we have a game. We are it is game time. Um, because we are Ooh. we are time. Um cognizant right now so um this game is our pick one which one is better uh what it's we're gonna call it which one is better Yay, <laughs> official name <laughs> all right hey pm take that clip turn it into an actual song and that is the intro <laughs> thank you perfect thank you pm um, and you Work. may think i'm joking he can actually do that he's very talented yeah very um talented. so basically i'm gonna throw two things out what which whichever one you like the best or is it represents you the best First thing that pops in your head, boom, hit me with it. Okay. As opposed okay. to fear of itself. Are you guys playing why. too? Just you. It's just no. you. Aww. It's just you. I know. Aww. I know. I lied to her. I was like, usually we participate too. Yes, sir. And then Trevor picks. But uh, I want to learn about you guys losing. too. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. Paul has been losing. Actually, Paul. Paul, you what? can play because we you actually haven't played. How do I play yeah, though? It's rapid fire. Play with me. <laughs> So you well, say yours and she says hers. Boom. Yeah. At the same time? Yeah, just same. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Just wait till she says hers. She's she's the guest. This show's about her, okay? 
Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll wait. To, I'll wait. Right. To, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Some of Close these we've used before. I actually added like seven Ooh. more. So there's 15 categories. We're gonna hammer them out. All right. Oh gosh. Perfect. All right. All so right. I'm gonna write them down. All right. Perfect. Number right, one. Down. Yep. Tacos or burgers? Oh no. Tacos. Oh, that's so hard. I literally just had Agonizing. a burrito for dinner. Oh, but I love my burgers. Oh, no. I I guess I have to say burgers. That's okay. Hard. Oh. There are no wrong answers except for when there are. I'll tell you when oh. that is. <laughs> Fortnite chapter one or Fortnite chapter two? Chapter one. Chapter one. <laughs> it's chapter hard. one. <laughs> Number Just three. Like agonizing over this. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> Number three. Milk first or cereal first? This one has a correct answer. Cereal first. Milk first, dude. Switch it no. out. Be okay. Different. Just come on. don't follow the trends of everyone else, kids. Be different. <laughs> Get out there, make a yeah, Actually, good point. You don't have to wear a soccer skin. Okay. Uh, fourth, <laughs> original or boneless wings? Boneless. Boneless. Mm hmm. Okay. I'll allow 100%. Delicious. Who wants to deal with all that bone? Yeah, yeah. Ugh. You know what I mean? And that black a, thing in the middle? No, let's deal with that. Ugh. A yeah. Little, it's a little knob. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, number five, zoomers or boomers? Boomers. Boomers, dude. Boomers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo. That's a good one. Run the world. Number uh, six, Inception or Interstellar? Oh, in Inception. Inception for me, too. I shouldn't know. I shouldn't say it first because I'm going to influence her. her no, no, no. I, those are both good, but I Inception, I think I, I was going to pick that. Praise be. You, know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, there is a right and wrong to that one. Seven, Transformers <laughs> or Star Wars? Star Wars. Star Wars, dude. Yeah, of course. Like, I don't even know why. This is just our general, our, like our, our little rib at, uh, at Courage, literally every episode. Just yeah, you know, absolutely. Make sure that we mm -hmm. say that was stupid. Obviously, it's stupid. Look, they think it's stupid. And the next time they're, we're like, oh, look, Courage, it's stupid. You're still yeah. stupid. <laughs> it's still dumb. Uh, number eight, Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. PlayStation. Yep, PlayStation. All right. I've, I've, we've done, I feel like I've done this before and I remember this one and it really is generational. Like, it is generational. If you would have asked me 10 years ago, it's Xbox, 100%. But now, past five years, PlayStation. Sorry, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm not furious. Number that. nine. Another generational one, MySpace or Facebook? Ooh. MySpace. Ah, uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm a MySpace well, guy too. Well, see, my my reasoning really quick is that you, whenever you went to a MySpace page, they had some nice music playing. Music, right? And also, <laughs> yeah. MySpace didn't help influence an election. So that those two things <laughs> on their own. <laughs> there it is. Kind of. We got one in. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the next one? Go ahead. You don't know. Oh wait, could have been all MySpace, dude. Uh, uh, AIM or MSN Messenger? AIM. 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 Yeah. What? Who? No, okay, go ahead. iPhone or Android? iPhone. Oh, iPhone. Come on, dude. I'm going <laughs> we ain't got time for Android. <laughs> yeah. Takes one, 160p videos, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> coffee or tea? Neither. Really? Ooh. Coffee for me. Your coffee? Neither? Your coffee, you. I don't drink any coffee or any tea. I, I hate them both. Mm. Why do you, you get only your them? caffeine from uh, Game Fuel? From G Fuel? Game I Fuel? Actually, <laughs> I do drink G Fuel, right. but I, I love pop too. So, or so Ooh, pop. Pop. Okay. We call it pop in the Midwest. Yeah, but. we did yeah, too. Yeah. In, the, in Southwest Washington, we said pop mm. as well. It's weird. Ooh. I didn't say soda, soda until I was drafted. Crazy. God. Pop. What was Nam like, Ooh. Trevor? What was Nam like? Tra scary. Drafted. If he, no, was, yeah. MLB. It was it was extremely scary. Yeah. Um, uh, Summer or winter? Winter. Summer. Who are you? <laughs> I'm I'd rather too. be cold than hot. You can get warm easier when you're cold and cool off when you're Factual. hot. Factual. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's you know, true. Get in the winter. Also, mm -hmm. I don't have to work, which is nice. <laughs> there you uh, go. Wow. Trevor clearly loves baseball. All right. <laughs> keyboard, mm -hmm. keyboard, mouse, or controller? Keyboard. Keyboard, mouse. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy. Bacon or sausage? Bacon. 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 Wow. And she said that with the... such desperate pain. Yes. This is the <laughs> most important one we have in here. Yeah, yeah. When you're reinstalling a new roll of toilet paper, 
over the top <laughs> or underneath the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Top, always. Top, dude. Yeah. top, and then I fold it in a little triangle. <laughs> no, so you can see in the, really? In the hotels, because I like it. <laughs> no, you don't. I like it. Hotels. I like it. I like it. People who do toilet paper underneath uh, just want to see the world burn. They, they yeah, just, just laziness. Yeah, I don't it's like not even, that. Not that it looks good or works better. It's just it's just lazy. It's lazy. It's, it's, it's not it, practical. It, it's inefficient. It's not yeah. practical. God forbid you, you know, it tears before you're ready to tear it. Now you got to yeah. go underneath and find it somehow. Mm -hmm. No, it's a it's a class. Oh, and if it's underneath when you're at a public restroom and you got that like lock box, they put the toilet paper in. So you can't even get to it. You're like trying to get your fingers yes. up there. Very good down. point. You're like, you're, a, like, you're like flicking it, trying to get it to. It's a nightmare. Like to, to unroll yes. and it kind of fly through the hole, but it, then it gets caught yeah. again, and you're like, ah. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. like it's like half ply too, so it rips. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if you're if you're any type of cus in custodial oh function or job, and you put the toilet paper underneath in that type of safety deposit box, they call like a toilet paper roll. You're a monster. Mm -hmm. I'll stand by that to the day I die. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I got God. way too intense. TikTok video. You are right very there. passionate about toilet paper. <laughs> the TikTok video right there. There's That's your first right. TikTok, Paul. Go for it. Yes. Thanks. I appreciate that. Explain it. Explain. Explain it. All right. I will. So thank you for playing our game. We appreciate that. Thank that you, was really nice. so much about you. Everybody. Thanks job. for playing with me. I like yeah. that game. Great answers. Some questionable, overall great. <laughs> okay, Some questionable, you. overall great. Glad you approve. <laughs> We are we are running low on time. We will get through this final segment very quickly. Um, we like to hit on our favorite content creators at the moment. Uh, kind of give someone a shout out, maybe even a possible uh, guest in the show in the future. Just someone. It could be on any platform. It could be just someone on Twitter, whatever. Uh, but mm -hmm. someone that you're enjoying right now. Um, and I will start. Uh, Gus Johnson has been on YouTube for a long time. Um, People ask me what type of content it is. He's just a memer. It's like it's like you know, vines, and he just is hilarious. He plays characters, and he does this one like I cannot remember. Like checking with the farm, and it's just him at his house, and he's just saying this ridiculous stuff about how his mom like killed the horses by not feeding them and stuff. She's like, and she's filming, and she's like, "Yes, I did." And he's like, "No, you didn't, mom." I told. He's just hilarious. Gus oh, Johnson. Yeah, Gus Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he is very. It's just it's just hilarious. I watched it last night for like an hour. It was hilarious. That's amazing. Wow. Gus Johnson. Um, my favorite right now is uh, King Vader. He is a, he makes YouTube videos and, and Twitter videos and whatnot. Um, and he just does like, essentially, he, he does a lot of anime, but he'll like parody anime uh, in superhero things with like hip hop music. He's like dancing his hip hop music. He did one for um, Dragon Ball Z. Like some guy was like, I hate anime. And then he just had this whole hilarious hip hop dance thing where everyone in the group went Super Saiyan and it was really funny. So that's cool. Um, he's, yeah, it's hilarious and oddly fun to dance to. So, that's uh, clever. yeah, King Vader. He's awesome. He's uh, on Twitter. He is, I think it's King underscore Vader. Uh, so they don't have to be big or small necessarily. Yeah, he's just King Vader at King Vader. B A D E R. Okay. Yeah. I, um, a few months ago, I, I've been hooked ever since, but he live streams on, on Twitch and he uploads on YouTube. But a few months ago, I discovered him. His channel is Kit Boga and he does scam dating. We love it Kit is, Boga so much. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, I'm some of you guys probably have heard of him, but really it's the, funny. Yeah. literally the most fascinating and entertaining content I've ever seen, including my own. <laughs> like it blows <laughs> mine out of the water. Like I'm being honest. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's just it's so fascinating, and he does different voices and. Just the things that he does to grief the the scammers. It's it's very funny and just super entertaining. So Kit Boga. How do you uh, how do you spell it? K I T B O G A. Perfect. Kit Boga. And I believe yeah. it's that on everything. Um, yeah, I think so. Looked it up and he's yeah, yeah, yeah he's he's so organized and just like he never like I just get so like oh god like I I would break and he's just like he's yeah. just in it. Like he's not yeah. worried about it. Like, yeah, it's so funny. He's so, and he's got so many, so many voices and characters he does. It's just great. It's brilliant. It's it's, it's actually great. brilliant. Love that, um, Julie. As we kind of uh, finish up here, just kind of getting an idea of where you are came from, but also where you're headed. So, is there anything in particular for your stream that you're excited about that's coming up next? Anything that you're doing, uh, and then also 
after you answer that plug everything so we know where to find you <laughs> um thank you so seriously thank you guys for having me on it's it's been yeah, really fun i um trying to think i'm i'm do- oh so i did like my first kind of ever i'm, I'm still pretty new to twitch i would i would say because i came from a youtube streaming background but i just partnered a few months ago and i did like my first ever subathon which is i think like a super mm. twitchy thing to do in the, in the <laughs> twitchiverse but i did my first ever subathon like a couple weeks ago uh-huh. and uh we unlocked some fun rewards so i'll be doing I'll be doing some scream streams in February. So like every Saturday I'll be playing like really scary games for the month of February. Yeah. And I am like the most easily scared person on the planet, I think. So it'll <laughs> be a fun time. A lot of people love to come and laugh at me. So that'll be a good time with me, with, with my snipers. And then we unlocked, I have like no talent when it comes to like painting or drawing. So naturally, one of the rewards was like a painting stream. So we unlocked a painting stream. So I'll be trying to like follow a Bob Ross tutorial in the next month or two. So mixing <laughs> it up, you know, not just not just gaming, but yeah. some some fun and silly content as well uh, in the next month or two that I'm I'm really looking forward to. So other than that, PAX South is going to be fun. And I mean, what other whatever other trips are coming up that I have yet to even be aware of. I'm excited, though, for the for the year. So. That's a, a little preview of the, the next month or two. That's super exciting. Awesome. Yeah. And um, where can we find you? Yeah, so my socials the, the same handle. So it's at one shot girl. And then I have my silly underscore. So it's one underscore shot underscore girl with a U. But that's all, all across the board. It's, it's that. So that's fantastic. Yeah. And kudos to you for playing scary games. <laughs> I literally do not have the stomach for it. <laughs> I, I can't do it. Yeah. Can't do it. <laughs> I'm so I could make at the end of my stream, you could be like, I'll give you two thousand dollars to play. I would like look. I just don't feel like it. I don't feel good at the end of those. So kudos to you for doing that. It's uh, it's gonna be something, but it's it's for the content, as they say. So. For the content. The content. For the content. Love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, really quick before we go, we like to give a shout out to one of our reviews of the week. This one is from Beefy underscore T. They said, "You guys are absolutely hilarious. Love listening to make work go by a little faster." I uh, have a podcast myself, so it's great to be able to learn from two professionals like you. He thinks we're professionals. Yeah, I know. I knew you were going to cut. Wow. That's why I picked this one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks we're professionals. I don't think two he SM7Bs did. makes us professionals. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, thank you for that review. And uh, don't forget to leave a rating and review yourself. You might just make the show on our next episode. Uh, this has been the May Contain Action Podcast. You can listen on all major carriers of podcasts, including Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and SoundCloud. You can also watch the VOD on YouTube. Uh, Five-star ratings and leave a review as well. You may, again, end up as one of our reviews of the week. Also, go follow the May Contain Pod on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's at May Contain Pod. Again, my name didn't make it in there, but that's totally fine. Trevor's did. You can also follow my (laughs) co-host. Trevor, uh, I am Trevor May on YouTube and TikTok. Wait, I'm giving your shout outs. You'd give your shout outs, dude. I okay. <laughs> My, I was like, this is new. I am Trevor May on Twitter, uh, YouTube, TikTok, uh, Trev May 65 on Instagram. I think I've explained that enough times that everyone knows by this point why that's not. I am Trevor May as well. It will change yep. soon, soon as in in the next two years. Soon. Um, Soon. Also, I have a second YouTube channel, Trevor May Baseball, that is completely centered around learning the game of baseball and everything that comes along with it. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, that's there as well. And I would highly appreciate a sub over there if that is something that you're interested in. Absolutely don't do that. Perfect. My name is Paul, <laughs> aka Action Jackson. I am Action Jackson on Twitch. Uh, Action Jackson, by the way, that's BTW on Twitter and Instagram. Follow me there and watch the YouTube of this uh, podcast. Again huge shout out to julie one shot girl for being Yay. on the podcast it was awesome thank, having you. thank you guys it was yeah. nice meeting you trevor and then paul it's always a blast getting to chat with you and thank and you it was great to meet you this was this was a lot of fun we gotta do this it again was really sometime. fun guys great job <laughs> awesome all right julie all right. go stream all right if you all ever right. want to play either of you guys hit me up on twitter or something all right all right absolutely, absolutely. all right absolutely. bye Enjoy trevor cargo. bye paul bye bye, bye julie I just waved IRL. I waved my camera. I don't know why.